Today's video, we're gonna talk about maximized conversions versus maximized conversion value bidding strategy in Google Ads. And what is the best one to actually pick here for your business? I'm gonna go through and tell you definitively, not with if, ands, and buts here, which one of these you should actually be using for your business niche, because it will vary by business niche, where one is actually gonna make you more money sooner and overall for your business, okay? With that said, I'm gonna give you a couple case studies here as well of different companies that had different types of products where I can tell you real world examples of which one actually did better, how they did better, how much they did better. So you can also decide how this is gonna work out for you and not just take my you know, basic overall guidance here with and by itself. Before I go into the content here, if you do not know who I am, I am Corey Zyman, owner of Guaranteed PPC, and online advertising agency that specializes in guaranteeing results for their clients. That is, we do not charge our clients management fees until we can get them a certain minimum lift in profitability in excess of our management fee up front, which no other agency out there does that, which should tell you something about the quality of the information that we're providing on this video. So with that said, getting into the content here, uh, as you see on my board here, I've got Maximize conversions and maximize conversion value separated out into two different columns. So I could talk about the basically the pros and cons of both and the differences in both, okay? In order to know why you should be choosing one of these, you certainly should understand how it works, first off, right off the bat. So the two main differences between these particular bidding strategies, given they're both sm what they, people in the ad industry call smart bidding strategies, where Google's gonna use its own machine learning algorithms to identify how to get you more results on an ongoing basis. Looking at the customers who convert and the people that don't convert, seeing the statistical anomalies in between those two parties, and then guiding your ad better and better direction on an ongoing basis, given targeting a keyword or targeting a certain audience is not just targeting a keyword or audience anymore. Google's gonna decide if your ad shows up for your targeted audience or person or not based upon that person's statistical likelihood to convert or not. So with that said, convert, maximize conversions is it's set up to get you more conversions. That conversion could be a phone call, a form fill, that could be a order through the shopping cart or, or what have you, okay? So typically, e-commerce businesses are not gonna use maximize conversions bidding strategy itself because they're dealing with shopping cart purchases. However, that shouldn't be the only person who doesn't use this or use it per se. Um, if you're doing lead generation campaigns, you should be tracking whether those leads turn into a sale or at least if the leads are qualified or not. Do they lead to an appointment? Are the, did the call check out as to being what well, looks like a viable lead? And then scoring the lead and then importing that information back into the ad account so the machine learning algorithms that Google has can guide your ads in a better direction on an ongoing basis in the best way it can. The better quality data you give data, Google, the more your results are gonna be over time. The data is half of your results in your Google Ads account, at least over time in the long run, however you want to say it. So if you are like a plumbing services company and typically people buy right away, you could track a, whether a sale occurs from your lead through the offline conversion tracking process itself, which is what it's called. And I've made videos about this on my channel homepage you can search for. You actually are going to import that revenue into the account and then the ad account can utilize it to get you more profit moving forward, given that's what we're here for is profit, not a conversion. And in that case, maximize conversion values bidding strategy is going to be better for you because you have actual raw revenue data to work from. However, for some reason, you just couldn't track whether a lead was qualified or not, then maximize conversions is going to be better because there is no actual value tied to the conversions that the machine learning algorithm can utilize with this maximize conversion value bidding strategy itself at all. But even like I said before, even if you are generating leads, you can at least score the leads if you don't know a sale is going to occur within the next 90 days, which is what is the window of time Google gives you to actually decide and upload whether a sale occurred or not, or what the value of the lead is or not. You could score the lead between one and 10, like we've done many times with clients in the past. Use that as your conversion value. And then you could op use maximize conversion value bidding strategy to optimize for leads that give you the best lead quality, if you will. That is leads that are scored closer to 10 versus one on an ongoing basis. That's something you can also do as well. But uh, with that said, if you're just tracking leads by itself and you need conversions, again, maximize conversions, bidding strategy is more so the one you're gonna go with, okay? 
Uh, that said, on top of that, if you're an e-commerce company and you're tracking car purchases, you may actually still use the maximized conversions bidding strategy itself as well, even though you have a the cart revenue, which would be your value of the conversion, and you have that flowing into your ad account, you would still want to go with maximized conversion bidding strategy. Here's why. If you have very little variability in the price of the items that you sell, so you sell more than one item, but the price is pretty much the same for all your items. It's within plus or minus 20% of one another, or very few people are buying multiple units during a single transaction because if people a lot of times you know load up, some whales come through and they buy 15 units of whatever you sell, then in that case, if they don't do that, I should, you know, to be clear here, our maximized conversions bidding strategy can be the, should be a better option for you because it'll get you better results sooner. Maximized conversion value bidding strategy is looking at the revenue component of your conversions to decide if your ad should show up for somebody or not. When ultimately that with that particular bidding strategy, Google needs a lot of revenue data or you know, if you're scoring the lead lead value data in order to do its job properly. Whereas with maximized conversions bidding strategy by itself, it doesn't need very much conversion data or as much. So if you will, if there's not a big advantage of optimizing for revenue and profit because almost every transaction's the same size that you're getting through your website, people usually only buy one unit and that's it. They don't buy more than once then you want to go with maximized conversions bidding strategy because it's going to get you better results sooner because it needs less data in order to get you to a certain benchmark of results, overall process of running your ads, so to say. So with maximized conversion value bidding strategy going into this next, you could probably guess what I'm about ready to say here. That is, if you have more than a 10% variability in the price of your items, or people can buy multiple things at during one transaction, they could buy two, three, four, five units, what have you, then you want the maximize conversion value bidding strategy because the algorithm is gonna optimize to, and get you the most profit that way, optimize for customers who buy more than one thing during each transaction, slash buy items that, that cost more. If you have maximized conversions bidding strategy on your campaign and you sell items that are uh, vary in price a lot, then the, what the system is gonna do is only optimize for purchases that lead that generate mostly the least revenue. Why? Because items that sell for less, people that you're competing against are willing to spend less money per click to advertise to them. So the cheapest conversions are always going to be the ones that the you know, least competitive auctions are going to be the items that generate net the most the, the least sales for your market, if you will. That's the reason why you wouldn't want maximize conversions bidding strategy uh, if you sell items that vary in price a lot. That would be an absolute dumb mo move to do. And if you are in that situation, you want to be able to get yourself out of it if you're going to be able to make even half the money that you could make otherwise with maximized conversion value bidding strategy by itself. In that situation where you were using maximized conversion bidding strategy and you want to move to maximized conversion value bidding strategy, you should set up a new campaign on a budget 10% of the main campaign. And then as that gets the ROI that you want, start scaling it up, 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 and eventually you start scaling down the budget of your original campaign. That would be my recommendation if you rely on the sales that your Google Ads account brings in on a regular basis and you can't expect or see any variability in your results at all. If you can take a little bit of variability in your results short term, because you, you know, you're know you set up for that, and you wanna see big overall result faster for your business that I'm describing here, switching over to maximize conversion value bidding strategy, well, then you should just take the campaign and and switch the bidding strategy on the live campaigns that have maximize conversions bidding strategy itself, switch it over to maximize conversion value bidding strategy so that you could get to the end goal of where you want to be in terms of profit with those campaigns sooner. Yes, there'll be more built negative volatility right away because any change in Google ads that you make causes volatility, but at least you'll get to the end result sooner. So use maximize conversion value bidding strategy as it will make you more profit in the long run because it'll find the micro nuances in your market that apply. That is people who buy more than once, people that you know ultimately are buying bigger items, you know, ultimately can be more profitable for you. It will optimize appropriately. Or for that matter, it'll optimize more accurately and understand that it can only pay this much per click for this item only priced at $50. And it could pay, you know, you could bid $2 a click for this item that's $1,000.
so it understands more accurately what to pay for certain prospects looking for certain items versus assuming everybody's worth the same value and then only going after the people that where the traffic's the cheapest and it's cheap because the sales worth less itself. With all that said, this all you know assumes that your tracking is set up correctly. I've harped on many times on this channel before about how important your tracking is. You wanna get profit level tracking on your account regardless of the situation and get as many or as much data in your account as humanly possible that you can. This means if even if you have an e-commerce site and you take phone orders, you want to take the phone orders and get them back into your account because the campaigns can't do what you want them to do if they don't see all the customers coming through and who's buying what and how much they're spending. You really can't complain about your results until you've got every last conversion you can into your account using offline conversion tracking and so forth. I've got tons of other information on this channel about how to actually get the real profit out of your ad account that you want to get from Google, as well as Facebook ads and so on and so forth, just like this um, on this channel. And it's the best channel you're going to find about how to do ad strategy on YouTube. I promise you out of everything else you can find because it's coming from somebody who does ad strategy as their full-time job, 40 hours a week, and then share what I learned works and doesn't work on the weekends on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, you should. You should also check out my blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog. That has even better information because it's laid out in a step-by-step -step format with screenshots with everything you would need to use those strategies. Most people who like the channel like the blog as well. With all that said, your niche is going to dictate what which of these you're going to use as well as the actual product line or service line that you're offering as to which one you're going to use. If you feel I did not give you enough information here to know which one of these to choose already, leave me a comment below. I'll get back to you within 24 hours and let you know what I would specifically do here, what's going to be the right for you. And optimizing for short-term profit versus long-term profit, I can explain you know, the pros and cons of using each one of these. Given that uh, if there's only a minor improvement that you're going to get in your overall results using maximize conversion value bidding strategy, I'm going to use maximize conversions bidding strategy, take the hit on the long-term return I would get to get faster results. Whereas, you know, if there's 10, greater than 10% variability in the price of our items, or there's, you know, at least five, 10% of the people are buying more than one item at a time, I'm going to use maximize conversion value bidding strategy all day long because it's going to make me at least 25, 50, 100% more profit from our ad account long-term once we do that. More, the more, the more the variability in our price of our items we're selling is, and the more people, some people, the higher percentage of the time, people buy more than one item. And then when the people that do buy more than one item, they buy a lot, lot more items, but more so in terms of volume of people that buy more than one item. Um, ultimately, just, you know, if you're not optimizing for people who buy more than one item, the algorithm is going to actively unoptimize you for people who buy more than one item, one item because it's not going to see it if you will, and a person that usually buys more than one item take longer to buy, and therefore more of the people are, are gonna not be seen by the conversion tracking because they're gonna wait longer to buy, therefore they're gonna fall out the, outside the conversion window. If you really wanna be able to get these monster customers, you gotta be able to track them, and you have to utilize the bid strategy that's gonna utilize the data that you are collecting to take advantage of it. If you're not sure what to do in terms of your build out, like creating these new campaigns, switching the strategy, getting more into detail on this as well, you can always reach out to me at my firm at guaranteeppc.com and I can let you know how we can work together to get that done. Uh, so you have as little negative volatility in your results and you have the most, most upside possible. I can also tell you a dozen other things that you can do today to get you more profit out of your ad account and give you a guarantee along with it. If you're, if you're interested in that, you can reach out to me at guaranteeppc.com. We also uh, have coaching available. I've been doing coaching with guys that are watching and in a 30 minute coaching call, I can pretty well tell you based upon all the different factors involved with the ads or pricing, all that, what your bottleneck is that's stopping you from getting to the next level with your ads and profitability of your ads. Also, we sell ad, been selling ad templates and offering uh, the templates that work, that we know that we use for different niche markets, such as if we're working with a new plumber, we're already just going to use everything we use for the last plumber because it's already been worked out. We've already spent millions of dollars in ad spend and optimize that plumber's ads to get to those results that we got with that plumber. And we're just going to slightly tweak what we did for the last plumber for the new plumber that we work with. If you're a plumber, you can use the same templates for yourself. And as long as you're in a different city or country than our client, 
you can use the templates for yourself and get the results that we got with none of the time, effort, and money it took for us to find out that golden version of the ads that actually worked for us. So if you're interested in that, you can let, also let us know. We've worked in over 100 different niche markets, so the chances are high that we've already got you the results you're ultimately looking for, and we'll allow you to manage your own ads and not have to work with that ad agency and get ad agency-like results. So with all that said, that pretty much tells you as much as I can tell you between these two, when and where I would use one versus the other. Let me know if you have any comments or uh, questions in the comment section about any of this, if you still have any questions about it, and I'll see you on the next one. Remember when I said bidding strategies was important during this video? Well, this video here tells you how to do it.